All right, what's up, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, baby. What's happening? What's what's up with you guys? Um, I'm gonna be opening some 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 uh, some canvases. I think. Yeah, I should be opening some canvases. I'm gonna be opening some canvases right now. Um, and while I do that. Uh, might as well record a little something here with you guys, with all you good folks, beautiful people of the Grams. Dude, I woke up extra salty today. There's something about me. I don't know. I woke up like, like, like extra, extra handsome. Muy pinche guapo. Today I did, you know. I got that je ne sais quoi thing going on. I just do. I don't know what to tell you guys. There's days where I wake up like, mmm, just, just a little saltier, you know? <laughs> Some people are probably like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Anyways, that's the opening, uh, that is the opening of this video. <laughs> uh, my name is Jose Trujillo, it's Jose Trujillo, mira lops, claro, si no me chuporras yo, quien me las echa? <laughs> My name is Jose Trujillo. Uh, I'm an artist. I am the, the world's greatest living artist, for that matter. And I'm just taking it here, making a a little a little video. I'm signing some of my canvases in the back. That so way they're ready. Let's see. What does it say? Are you getting better looking every day? <laughs> Good for you. I am. I am waking up more beautiful every every single day. Super handsome and salty. Uh, and I'm still sweet. I'm, I'm sweet and salty. Uh, yeah, so... It's been a good day. I've been getting... Uh, getting stuff done, you know? No, you're the world's greatest living artist. <laughs> Just getting some stuff done. Uh, let me put this canvas over here. Get it ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is a, is a working day. Tomorrow is a working day. Today is a working day. It seems like every day is a working day. Las fancy. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, every day is a working day. Every day, every day we're doing something. You know, we're doing something to to make a, to make progress, to make our day better. You know, to make things work slightly better, or maybe it's, maybe uh, maybe uh, do a little bit more. Whatever that is, yeah. it's always it's always something. It's always something. And so I'm excited about that. I got some artwork I'm going to be sharing. Getting this canvas is ready. If the canvas is ready, then I can show up and paint, right? If they're not ready, then I have to show up and get them ready. It's all the same thing. It's just that it just seems like if you're ready, you 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 uh, you advance a little bit more. Um, in my mind, I think. It does create some sacrifice. It's a Sunday. I'm here in the studio rather than being with my family. Uh, you know, chilling. But those those are the sacrifices sometimes. Those are the things. Uh, and, and then they miss you too, you know? Like this is another thing. If you if you are if you're out there and you're some people tell me, do you ever spend time with your family? I do. I spend a lot of quality time with my family. Um, the thing is that what happens, this is, this is something that I've noticed in the past, in my life, in the past. Sometimes you spend too much time around the family. And I know, I know, I know some people might give me some hate for this. But look, it's okay that your family misses you a little bit. Go do what you need to do. Go take care of what you need to take care of. You know? Uh, it's okay that that, that uh, your spouse or your kids are like, Where, where's my dad? Where's my my dad's working, right? My dad's working. My dad's my my dad's uh, is taking care of stuff, or my mom, or whoever, or both, right? Both parents, uh, because when I'm at home, 
and I'm chilling with them, I'm at home and chilling with them. It's not like I'm not, I'm not thinking about work. You know, I'm not thinking about work. Um, like I said in a video yesterday, I'm not talking about work. I used to when I was when I was first uh, understanding how to how to get stuff done. Uh, a lot of my commentary was about work, but as, as time has gone by, and and the more the more committed I become, I've become over the years about my work. The less I talk about it with my you know around friends or family because because uh, there's a, a bit of a there's a trust right that I know what I'm doing and I don't need to regurgitate it all the time. And so, so that's what's been happening. Let me, uh, let me go put this canvases over here. Ooh la la, baby. Just, just in case you didn't know, you're hanging out with the world's greatest living artist, baby. Yeah, baby. Let me uh, open some 12 by 16s. Hola, Jose. Hola, hola, que tal? Hola, amigos. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm about. Um, I don't think there's a right or wrong way of doing things. I think everybody, you know, has to figure their own their own approach. For me, for me, it's uh, it's not just about work. It's about getting shit done. You know, sometimes I'm here all week and I don't get much much done. Um, and so it's not just about work. It's about getting stuff done. Um, sometimes in three days, I'm extremely productive. I, I create in three days what I don't create in like, I don't know, six or seven days. Uh, and that happens to, that has to do, I believe, with, uh, just the stars aligning, you know, the right, the right attitude, the right work ethic. Being prepared, you gotta be prepared. If you're not prepared, well, look. If you're not prepared, it doesn't matter how 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 happy or excited or 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 positive you are. If you're not prepared, you're not prepared. Your, your positivity is not gonna make you more prepared. Uh, on the other hand, if you're prepared and and you have everything going on, but you're negative, uh, it's gonna be harder. You know, if you're negative, if you're if you're ungrateful, if you're if you're upset, if you're painting and you're like, man, this painting's not coming along, uh, and you're pissed off or, or whatever, it's not it's not gonna make it any better, just because you're prepared and because you're working or whatever. And so that's what I found out. Um, I know it's cheesy, but uh, having a, a an attitude of gratitude, <laughs> having an attitude of gratitude, it's kind of important. Uh, I found it to be, to be like my, my, um, my, one of my, one of my, uh, one of my secrets. No, it's not a secret, but it just, it sounds cool when we say that, right? But I, I found it to be something very special for me. Like having, having gratitude, like, like, dude, you're, you're awake, you're alive. My, my, my hands are working. I can paint, I can, you know, I can twist them, I can bend them, I can, uh, I have I have supplies. I have canvases. I have paint. Uh, you know, start looking for the positive shit. You know, like start looking at the at the right thing. What's the right thing? Um, so I start counting my blessings. Right? I'm like, okay, I woke up. I can breathe. Okay, cool, cool. That's that's a win, right? That's a win. Um, I got some coffee, dude. That's another win. I got some coffee this morning. Uh, my wife. My wife uh, ordered breakfast. You know, I told you guys we don't cook. So, so what we've done is throughout the week we've ordered meal preps, and then on the weekends we're we're, we're we eat out because we eat out a lot. So we're trying to change that and just eat out on the weekends. And so, so uh, I had some pancakes this morning. Dude, that's a win. You know, that's a win. I had a coffee. I had some pancakes. Um, I went to art supply stores and and and, and bought bought uh, paint and, and supplies and because I, I like supporting like local businesses and shit like that. So so um, I'm not buying everything from like online. Uh, that's a win for me. 
it's a win, so I'm counting that. I'm like, okay, that's a win. That, that's a win. It's just kind of like looking at things, you know, from a more uh, stoic, right, point of view. And, uh, and so I like that. I like that. Counting, counting the blessings. Here, I'm going to put this canvas away. Counting the blessings and, and making sure that... Uh, Making sure that I'm not selling myself short. And I, you know, again, I think everybody does this in one way or another. We're all, we're all, uh, and, and many of us maybe are guilty of not doing it. It doesn't matter. It's like, what, what does it matter? You know, we're all learning. We're all moving forward. Let's see. I got, I need some more. Oh, here we go. I got some longer. Okay. And so that's helped me a lot as an artist. Can I, can I, can I find the positive in this? It's, it's not always easy if you're very goal-oriented. Uh, so I can see that people that are very goal-oriented, it's very difficult. It's, it's, I'll raise my hand. It's been very difficult for me. It's been a learning curve for me. Um, because when you are goal-oriented and, and you are dead set on a goal, there are no there's really no positives like did you did you hit the goal or not it's really what you're looking at are you closer to the goal or not any little setback it's not viewed as it's not viewed as a positive and so one of the things that i believe in uh and this has been a practice of mine in my studio and i, I try not to share with other people because uh uh when you're when you're like goal oriented, at least in the United States, uh, you're perceived as an asshole, <laughs> pretty much, uh, especially by 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 people that are like, you know, like fuck the man, the government, or or uh, or uh, have some sort of idea against capitalism, you know, and and I'm not talking about capitalism like. Like, well, capitalism is capitalism, right? But I'm not talking about, like, Jeff Bezos or what, you know, Elon Musk is doing or whatever. Uh, people just have this idea about capitalism really negative uh, many times, which I understand, right? The extremes of capitalism are, are, are pretty nasty uh, if you dig in, into it a little bit. But, uh, but there's also another side of, of free trade, I don't like to think about it as capitalism. I like to think about it as free trade. And that gives people an opportunity to uh, paint your little paintings and sell them on Etsy. You know, that's, I, I think that's beautiful. Uh, it's a form of capitalism, but it's not entirely capitalism. Uh, because you're not, you're, when we think of capitalism, usually we think about ex exploiting a group to try to get something cheaper so that we can sell it more expensive, that type of deal. And so there's, there's sort of a negative thing and so I don't talk to many people about it because I, I can sense that there's like a negativity especially especially if you are amongst uh, uh, very progressive people it's, there's kind of like a stigma about capitalism and that kind of deal and so I live in two worlds me personally I live in the world of of I'm going to be grateful I'm going to be as grateful as I can right as much as I can remember throughout my day or remind myself but I'm also, my, my goals are, are pretty, pretty fucking ridiculous. My goals are like, I know I'm not going to reach them. And so, so I have this mentality of, of reach for the stars and land on the moon type of deal. And so I don't really talk about my goals for that reason. Like people ask me all the time, like, what are your goals? I'm like, mm -mm, I ain't sharing. I ain't sharing because you're, you're, you're going to think of me as a capitalist, like one of those nasty capitalists, or you're going to think of me as... As ridiculous and so I I write my goals down every day I think about them uh, there many of my goals are, are economic goals and so that's another reason I don't share them um, many of my goals are also about uh, you know <laughs> being philanthropic you know uh, how can I help the community and, and on and on but I don't think about it much because I, I feel uh, uh, especially right now in the US I feel this this uh, you're either you're either very liberal or you're or you are very you know very much to the right, 
And I think that, I think both of those worlds can't really exist uh, in, in those extremities. I, I think, I believe in, 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 a, in, a, in some medium ground and some sort of balance where we can, where we can all have, a, so we can all have good stuff, you know? We can all have the good life. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much where I live uh, in, my, in my convictions. <laughs> I don't know if I have so much uh, luxury for convictions, but, but if I had some, that's where I would live. Um, and so, so throughout my day, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for, for those things, right? How can I, how can I be productive? And and aim at these big goals, and know that I'm not going to achieve them. But they're, they're pretty, they're pretty ridiculously big goals. Uh, you know, um, as I've told some some of my you know people that have followed me or, or or my family, my goals don't include like, oh my God, how can I paint another painting or how can I sell another painting. Uh, this weekend or, or or how can I make another thousand dollars a month like my goals are pretty ridiculous my goals are like they're like they're, they're pretty expensive I'm not thinking about me I'm thinking about about entire groups of artists that are working with me I'm thinking about expans exp something expansive and so so uh, how can you be grateful when you're thinking about something so large and you're not really achieving it and so that's where I live I live in that in that little swing of of thinking big but also finding the good stuff that's happening uh in this moment and and so i hope that makes any sense i hope that makes any sense i i, I try not to think of it as a you know i see i see some people that are that are that are very uh uh, excited about business, you know, when it comes to like being artist or whatever, and or other industries, and it's like it's like a rat race. It's like go 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 go, and if you don't get it, like like shame on you, you know, you didn't you didn't do your work or whatever, you know, the 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 the, the Ed Milets, the Grand Cardones, and those type of those types of dudes. And I think that's great. I think if that's their mentality, and it works for them. That's great. I, I don't like to shame myself as I'm running after something. I like to see it as, as oh, it'd be really cool to go, to go get that. Let's go get it. But, but, you know, don't forget the step that you're taking, each step that you're taking. It's, 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 it's pretty fucking cool. It's a blessing, you know. It's each thing that you're doing. Uh, whether you're trying to make a living as an artist, I don't know. Whether you're... You sold one painting and, and you got a couple hundred bucks or a couple of thousand bucks. That's awesome. You got a few million dollars. That's awesome, too. Like, both things are awesome, you know? Um, and so... So it, was, it, it, it took some training because I didn't, I, didn't really, uh, I didn't really work that way. I don't know if I'm making any sense for some artists out there or anyone. But I didn't really work that way. The way that I used to work was... was um, just goal oriented you know if, if i didn't meet my quota i used to be in sales if i didn't make the you know if i didn't call 200 people if i didn't make 200 phone calls if i didn't do those things then i was falling short and therefore i felt shame and negativity and, and all this shit and uh and i took that mentality into art you know if i didn't make this amount of paintings if i didn't paint this amount of hours you know, and certainly I hold myself to, 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 to certain standards, but if I don't meet them, it's not because there's something wrong with me or because I fail to show up or no, it's, it's, it's just, it's just life. You know, sometimes those things happen. And, and so it's not like I don't want to, it's not like I'm not, I'm not striving to do it. So I, 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 I give myself some break, you know? And, and I find out that by doing that, by giving myself some slack around that, um, not to procrastinate or to, no, but by giving myself, 
not making myself feel bad, right? By not, not creating shame around it. It's more powerful than, than, than to create shame, you know? You are trying to become a full-time artist. I, I, I hear that a lot from artists. Man, I've been trying to become a full-time artist. I don't think I can make it. And then they go into like all this negativity and all this shame and, and man, I've been trying and I've been trying. I see that a lot with artists. And, uh, and it's like, dude, you're not a full-time artist, not because there's something defective or because the market doesn't. No, it's because it's, it's not your time yet, dude. That's all. You know, keep going, keep moving. Be grateful as you're doing things. It's just not your time. I, I think things happen in due season, you know, things, there's seasons, and, and there's seasons where you're just working and you don't get any results, and there's seasons where you, it looks like you're not really doing much, and you're getting lots of results, because it's, it's seasonal, it, it happens that way, there's times where I'm like, I'm trying to sell my work, and I, and I, and I'm like, you know, like, I don't know, if, I don't know what I'm doing, it's, it seems like it takes so much energy, and then, then there's months or times uh, where I practically feel like I'm just being given money, right, for doing very little. And so, and so it's, it's, I think it's seasons. Uh, when I first started, when I first started selling my work, it felt like a monumental task, you know, to try to try to get people to see my artwork, try to get people to, to I guess, quote unquote, buy into my, into my work, into my, into my paintings. Uh, it felt like, uh, I mean, it felt like I was, I was walking through some sort of artistic hell, you know, uh, not just the work, the work seemed to, to, to be very heavy, but also the, uh, the emotional state that it would put me on. If, uh, if I didn't get a commission done, if the painting didn't come out the way I wanted to, if I felt like I didn't have a voice as an artist, I'm painting, but I, don't, I haven't really developed a voice. I mean, I went through all of those stages. Um, and, and, it, and it felt like I was working so much and getting paid so little. Like I wasn't getting uh, compensated correctly for my work. And... Uh, after some time, I just realized it's that was the season for that. That was the season to to work, and and you know, kind of like farmers, right? You see a farmer there, there or, or anyone, people that go lift weights or do exercise, and you know, that's that's kind of like their jam. Uh, I'm pretty sure the first months were like, man, I'm not getting any results. Maybe even the first year, it's like, dude. especially when you start from like maybe being overweight to like losing the weight, to like building the muscle. I'm sure it was like all this time to be like, oh my God, I'm not getting any results. Small businesses is the same way, right? You start something and you're like, man, I'm not getting any results. Farmers the same way. You go and you plant all these crops and you do all this work. You have to get the land, you have to work on the land, you have to go and plant the seeds, water them and take care of it. And it's all this, you're involved in all this labor but there's no payoff, no no payoff right there, right? No evident payoff. Um, and so it feels that way. It feels that way. Um, just like an artist's career, it feels that way. People tell me this all the time, dude. I've been working so much uh, at this, and I still haven't gotten, you know, uh, any success being an artist. And it's like, well, how long have you been working on it? Um, well, I've been working on it for, you know, I don't know, two years or three years. Or I've been working on it for, for the past six months or whatever. And then it's the next question is like, how many hours a day? And what's, what's the productivity really that you're doing? Are you, are you working on it one hour a day, two hours a day? Are you just creating artwork? Are you, uh, are you it's a cake mix, right? That's why, it's, that's why it's seasons. Things don't happen until due season. Um, are you just painting or are you marketing too um, are you just learning how to paint because a lot of people are learning how to paint and they don't know that when you're learning how to paint you're not really selling at higher prices people don't really buy your stuff at higher prices when you're learning how to paint and, and this confuses artists because, because artists that are, are not yet 
cooked, as I like to call it. They're not yet finished cooking. They're, they're still in some sort of incubation mode, incubator mode. Uh, they think that they deserve to get paid like other artists that have been working at their craft for many years. Uh, and it's just not the way it is. If you are, I mean, in any in any career, you know, you have to kind of you have to kind of pay your dues. Uh, if you're a doctor and you just came out of, I don't know, medical medical school, you're not gonna get paid the same way that uh, I don't know another doctor who has 20 years of experience or whatever, uh, or has their own their own private practice or whatever you're not it's not going to be the same i mean come on let's also let's also be a little bit realistic right and so so i hear a lot of artists tell me dude i i, I know i can paint as good as this other artist why am i not getting paid and it's like sometimes it's not it's not also the way the skill level it's the time you have in the marketplace there's plenty of artists that also paint well but they're new to the marketplace and the market hasn't really accepted them yet. It, it takes a little while for the market to start uh, acknowledging you. Like I said before in many videos, um, it's a very noisy marketplace. The world is very noisy. Everybody wants to be heard. Go on TikTok, you know, I mean here on Instagram, anywhere. People are like, look at me, look at me, you know, please look at me. I got something, I can dance, right? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm beautiful, I have a great, I don't know, a great face, a great body, or, or I'm, I don't know, I, I can make flips, or I can make paintings, or whatever. Everybody's trying to be looked at. Look at me, look at me, look at my skills. The reality is that, is that um, the marketplace doesn't really reward, even, even if people become famous on TikTok or whatnot, the marketplace doesn't really reward until it's seen you there long enough until it's really, you, you've hammered it long enough. Um, this is one of the, one of the reasons I, I, I tell people don't, don't just focus on having a lot of followers on Instagram or whatnot. Those, are, those things are important uh, for the, for the short term uh, payoff, you know? You're gonna get commissions, you're gonna start selling some work and whatnot, but it doesn't mean you have stickability in the marketplace. Uh, what, what I think that really helps artists have that stickability, that 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 you stick from that wall, <laughs> on the wall of the marketplace, is that you show up day in and day out, nonstop. And you've been doing that for a few years. Maybe you've been doing that for five, 10, 20, 50 years. I don't know. You're showing up and you're showing up and you're showing up sooner or later. Uh, even, even if it's a small group of people. I know plenty of artists who don't have that many collectors. They have like, I don't know, 100 collectors. But that's enough for them to make a, a pretty good living as, as artists. And I know artists who have lots of followers on Instagram. I've coached some artists here on Instagram who have 300, 400,000 followers. They can't really sell much. You know, they're having a hard time selling. And, and, and part of the reason is because just because people are following you or people are there doesn't mean that, that, uh, that you puncture through the noise. Uh, it takes some time before you start puncturing through the noise, uh, and and so yeah, you know, take it take it easy. Don't be hard on yourself. Let's see, dude. We got some more stuff. I think that's it. I think that's all the. Uh, those are all the the canvases here. Let me let me wave at people. There you have it. So that's something that has helped me in my in my own career, just trying to find that gratitude. You know, I know it sounds cheesy, but uh, it's really helped me. Uh, I'm not always there. Sometimes I'm sometimes I'm not very grateful, <laughs> but I, I I try to use it to my advantage. How can I how can I be grateful? in this moment or whatever.
So I'm gonna leave you with that, my friends. The name is Jose Trujillo, and I'm an artist. And yeah, that's all I got to say right now. Peace out, stay well.